Okay, what I, well, thank tell, you. Tell me, tell me how I can help you. Dr. Cloud, uh, my husband and I have a 27-year-old son who is very smart, um, always graduated top of his class, MBA. He had a promising future. Um, it doesn't look to us like he's living that out because he has addictions. He's an alcoholic. Yeah. He's um, on drugs. Um, he's been in rehab Ooh. three times. Oh. Um, whoa, 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 we, whoa, 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 stop, yes, stop, stop. What, what, what's the, uh, what's the sort of duration of this problem? When did it, when did it start? When was his first rehab? I mean, his he was doing okay rehab, in school, so it must have been after school, right? It was after school, and it was after he started with his career, but he had missed 42 days of work because okay, so, of his so addiction trying to get an, he was i'm trying to get it in a no, it started sir. it started in his 20s it right? started in his 20s but we didn't know until okay. about I, I, three I just years want, ago there's a yeah. difference there's a difference in that and you know if it started when he was eight years old so i, I was just trying to get the duration of this so it started, he got he leaves school he goes out to work and then he gets into drugs and alcohol so what, and he's been to rehab three times. So what's the question? How, how to, the question is, we are in you guys have done a lot. We're, we're in Al-Anon. I have a sponsor. We're going to counseling. And as I told um, the person who took my call, I don't, I don't like to use this word, but I'm sure my husband and I are still doing things wrong. I know that we can't save our son or make him sober. I'm, I'm clear on that. I thought I could. That's the real reason I went to Al-Anon to begin with. I did not understand the program was for me. I went to get that answer. How do I sober my child up? Um, you said a couple days ago or maybe at the end of last week that two parents can love a child but love differently. One loves with judgment. That would be me. And the other loves by giving all without consequence. <laughs> that would be my and, husband. And yes, sir. And. Yes. I don't know if I've ever. That's the most honest thing I've heard in a long time. I don't know if I've ever say a parent. You know, one parent can be judgmental. That's me. <laughs> oh. That's a lot of self awareness. You get the gold star collar award today. That's really oh, thank good. you so much. I don't <laughs> take the bait. Um, when he says or does things, but I do on the inside and I ask God to help me keep my face straight. But I know that even though I'm not wincing or saying anything, he can read my face. Yeah. And, so your, your um, face goes he, know, he knows you, that I have judgment in my heart. Judge. Okay. So t yes. what's your question? What is your question? Because you, you guys are in treatment, you're getting help, you're in Al Anon, that's fantastic. Is he in, and is so he in we're AA or NA changing. or something like that right now? He's in a program called right. Haymarket. Okay, and, so he's um, getting treatment. So y'all are all doing he's, the right things. I think it he's like. playing the system, Dr. Cloud, because I think he's still drinking and I think he's still taking drugs. Okay, well, if he is, if he is, then somebody's enabling that, okay? And whoever's enabling that is enabling that, or he's going to get the consequences to that, and then that's that's going to wake him up. But as you've learned in Al-Anon, you know, if he moves to a different enabling circle, there's not a lot you can do about that, but you can have your limits and what you're willing to do and what you're willing not to do, right? What you're talking about is you want to change your internal reactions. Right? I do, sir, want to change my internal reactions. And also, yes, that, that's exactly it. I want, to, I want to change my internal reactions. And we also, he was living away because we kicked him out. And we said, if you use in the house, you have to go. And he did. And we said, see you later. Um, Good. And during the COVID we said he said he wasn't using we weren't sure and we said he could come back in so he's in my house now 
So Dr. Cloud, I'm just going to say very plainly, um, I would like him to, of course, sober up. I'm scared to death that he's going to die. He's already been arrested. He's already been in jail. I lived through that barely. I'm afraid he's going to die. But I also yes. want him to sober up and get out of my house. But I know I'm the person in charge of that. So, so what, yes, we'll go back question? to your question, which is how can I help myself internally so no matter what consequence I give to him, I can live through it because I'm afraid he's going to die. Well, who, if he's in a program, he's got a sponsor, right? He's got groups that he's going to. Everything's different now, Dr. Cloud, because of the COVID. So there's yeah, no in-person anything. But, no, I didn't say in person. Are they, they, there's still somebody's checking up on him. He's talking to him. He's got he, a trigger. He, talked he to him contacts today. him. He's in a virtual group or something like that, right? So he's in a program. He's, he's in a program, and the only thing he's doing right now is talking to his person in Haymarket. He's not in AA. He's not doing any of that. Okay, so then why can't? living here why can't one of the requirements for living here be there's no using in the house okay no no we, using in the house we don't see that he's using and we don't see his stuff anymore so well, as then, far then as what, we I, know then, he's not doing what, it in the house but i think he's doing it somewhere else and then he's coming back to my house uh, but you don't see it right I do not see it. I mean, it. yeah, yeah. What's, th this is like, you've got yourself in this inspector role and you're worried and having, a, is it, a, did it happen around the corner? Or, do you see that? Like that, you know, like you're having to monitor this and, and you follow me? Does it feel that way? Yes. And he said to me, thank you that you let me back in because it helps me with my sobriety, but I said, I'm not in charge of your sobriety. I can't help him be sober or stay sober. I thought I could, Dr. Cloud. I, I'm a year right. and, and a and half that, past that, that. that. That's my point. You can't. So you're saying, you know, he's not using in the house. It's all only thing you can control. He's not using or while he's in, you're not smelling it. You're not seeing it, whatever. That's your condition. Your condition has been set. So his recovery is up to him. So then what, what else can you do except monitor your internal reactions? Right. Okay. So, all right. So you've got, to, you've got to look, an addict is out of control. Okay. There's no self control. As long as other people are trying to control, they're not, letting go so they can develop self-control and what he's doing is resisting all the external control right that's what you've learned yeah. in Al-Anon is that right okay yeah so what I want you to do is the same thing we would tell him when you feel yourself starting to get triggered I want to judge this I want to control say you know what I gotta um excuse me I, I gotta make a phone call and you go call your sponsor and you start to process yeah. this because, because like I said, you referred to another call. Here's the thing. Love and limits get split. And you said one of the parents has love and the other one is the one with the limits and crying foul and justice and all this. So you've got to be able to get to a place where you give up, give up the protest because what you're feeling judgment is protest, right? You're saying you should not be that way. And I, and right. you're, you're, you are correct. And I, and I, and I hear the lie in that because I do believe that it's a disease that he will have to conquer one day at a time. And so to blame him for having it, it's, it's just wrong. My frustration see, is stop, stop, stop. Okay, go ahead. Stop, stop. Even in that sentence, the problem still remains. Okay. When, when you say 
if it weren't a disease, okay, then I could blame him. I can't blame him because it's not a disease, so I got to accept it, all right? That's still the same problem because there are people that have patterns of behavior and that's who they are for whatever reason, genetic, choosing, about a thousand things. When we give up the protest, what we're, what we're, all we're doing is saying, I'm not going to sit here and look at the blue sky and demand that it be red when it's blue. It doesn't matter the reason. Whether he's choosing or it's a disease, you've got to accept that this is who he is and that's what he's dealing with. You follow me? Okay. Yes. Because you just said step one, two, and three. Well, you said step one and two. I hear you. One and two of the 12 steps, you mean? Yes. Yeah. I, look. I'm powerless we deal with people, over it. You're powerless. And it doesn't matter why. And trying to figure out why and make conditions and all of that from your side of the equation, you know, and it doesn't even matter to an addict where it comes from as long as they admit the reality of, I don't know where this comes from, but I can't stop. I'm powerless. See, the breaking of addiction, in part, the kernel of everything rests on getting to reality. And you still, inside, emotionally, haven't accepted this is reality. And where we, when reality shows up, then processing the feelings about that reality which are gonna be much softer and feelings like sadness. And I wish he were different. It hurts me to see him go through this. I feel for him. That's very different than judgment. Judgment is rooted in you should be different than you are. Follow me? Yes, sir. I do, Dr. Cloud. And my, my judgment in addition to that is why won't you get help? Why, why won't you see that this is not a good way to live for you? He's not I, a kid anymore. He's, he's, I would, my child I would bet, his hair. I would bet you a gazillion dollars that he knows this is not a good way to live. Okay. That's not new news to him. So to ask, why can't you see that drugs are causing you problems? I'm sure he sees that. What he's got is an addiction. Okay. Logic never talked to anybody out of an addiction. Oh, good one, Dr. Cloud. Oh, that's so good. Thank you. And truth and judgment and logic and the law. You know, Moses tried that. He came off the hill with 10 rules, said, Y'all shouldn't do this. Never changed anybody. What's going to change him is when he gets to the end of of like hits bottom of the fact that it is causing me all this pain that will drive me to change. Not that somebody's telling me. The only thing I can monitor is myself. Is yourself and the consequences and having a bridge to help. And so when, if you think something's going on, say, well, here's what I do. You can do what you do. You can do what you're going to do. But in my addiction, which is to control people, in my addiction, when I start to feel the temptation to use, I call my sponsor. So I got to go do that so you can control yourself. Okay. I got to run. We're up against time. But keep going to your meetings. Very, very important. When you feel the triggers inside for judgment, let that be a trigger to, for some reason, I'm not accepting the reality of where he is and letting him do it, I need to go talk to somebody about that. Okay? Bless Thanks your for your call. Appreciate your call. So this is the Dr. Cloud show. That is a tough situation. You know, she's she's talking about um one of the most difficult things in life is when we love somebody and they're they're doing something destructive to themselves. And oh it's hard. And there are things that we can do to influence that and help it. You know, we give them limits and consequences and invitations to help and reminders and show them 
you know, bridges to a treatment center and, and other people to help. You know, there's a thousand things we can do. And sometimes those things help. But one of the things we can't can do, we can't do is we can't control. Them. They've got to make that choice. Sounds like God, doesn't it? <laughs> He's got that problem. He sits up there and he tries a bunch of stuff to get through to people and say, you know what, these that's not good to hurt each other like that. That's not good to cheat on each other. It's not good to lie. You know, you shouldn't do that. It's not good to use heroin and ruin your life. And by the way, if you want some help, I'm here and I'm not going to shame you. I'm going to forgive you, but just come on. Some people come. Some people it takes a little longer. Some people never come. But all you can do is what you can do. And we do that to the fullest that we can do. And then we have to realize they got to make some choices generally based on the pain. <laughs>